Hi, it's Kathy with Capex Creative Cafe. I'm gonna make a really cute strawberry tonight. Uh, it's a Zoe Deschamel design and it's in design space under, I think it's under projects. Um, so the first thing I wanna do, I've already got my little easy press. I'm using the um, small easy press and I'm going to iron, I've got to iron my cardstock first. And then I'm going to add these little seed things. And you do this on the lowest setting for 25 seconds. This is probably a little longer than 25 seconds and then I'm just gonna let it cool for a few minutes and then we will go on to the next part. I'm gonna go over this again because I forgot to use my easy press mat. Um, so, I'm going to flip it over and do the back side. And I believe you do this for like 15 seconds. I'm going to let it cool off. Next, I'm going to peel off the heat transfer sheet. And as you can see, we have our seeds that are now attached. Then I'm gonna fold on the score lines. So I've got this piece right here. I'm gonna make a bunch of these and put them in a bowl that I have to have on my table for the summer, get in the spirit. And then I'm going to take some art glitter glue. This is art glitter glue. I just have it in a little container. And I'm gonna glue these little pieces together. Usually takes about a minute or so for this glue to set up.
Okay, now I've got a good grasp on it. Well, I thought I did. I finished gluing most of this offline. Uh, just because I didn't want you to have to sit here and watch my glue dry. I'm actually going to try a new a recipe that I've never tried before. It's the um, pretzel and jello and strawberry sal um, dessert. It's not a salad. It's um, you layer the bottom with butter and graham cracker crust, and then you put whipped cream on it, and then you well you mix the jello up first and let that cool down. And then um, when you right before you pour, pour the jello on top of the whipped cream, you add the strawberries and. It sounds really good. I'm really excited to try it. I've never had it before and I've seen this recipe off and on over the years and just, I finally decided to save it and print out a copy. I know that you do cook the, um, you bake the um, graham cracker crumbs with, the, with butter. You melt the butter and pour it over the graham cracker crumbs and uh, bake that in the oven for like 10 minutes or something. If anybody's ever had it, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you thought of it. have to get in there and push that back piece forward so that the, these two pieces um, will attach to each other. Then I'm just gonna push these pieces down like that. And then I am going to glue this piece right here to the top, just to kind of hold everything in place. Isn't that cool with the little um, seeds on there? I love this. I'm so excited to make a bunch of them to put in my bowl. And then I'm gonna take these two pieces and this piece right here is gonna go up through this, this opening right here and you will have that for the bottom. And then I'm gonna glue this piece and attach it to the top. And those leaves down a little bit. There you have a little strawberry. Isn't that cute? So 
so I made another one. So I have two. Whoops, this one's not quite dry yet on the top. Um, so I have two to start my collection. I might see if I can find some other fruits, 3D fruits in design space to see, you know, that I, if I find something to add to my bowl besides just strawberries, but if it's just strawberries, I love that just as much because I think these are so cute. So, um, I hope you'll make some.